Hi, and welcome to Circuits from the Lab. My name is Trisha. Today, I will be giving background on what this channel is about. What is a CFTL? Why you should care about it? How we do it? And some examples for it as well. CFTLs, or Circuits from the Lab, are analog devices branded reference designs, wherein we design and do everything from hardware, software, documentation, and support. From a hardware perspective, a reference design combines two or more analog devices components together with control capable from various standard platforms like FPGA, Raspberry Pi, microcontrollers, and more. This is to create solutions to existing problems which range from mixed signal applications for signal generation and capture, RF solutions, optical liquid measurement, gas detection, and so much more. All of which are thoroughly tested by our engineers, and hardware and software are both open sourced, fully maintained, and supported. One of the best things when working with CFTLs is you don't have to be a systems or software guru to get a reference design up and running because we make everything easy. One of the ways we accomplish this is by leveraging and developing our designs using standard ecosystems because they're popular and affordable. Some of the most popular ones are Arduino, Raspberry Pi, FMC which is found on Xilinx or Intel FPGA development board, and PMOD. There are large user communities for every one of these, so we use these interfaces and the infrastructure behind them as a leverage to get systems up and running faster, not only for us but also for you, and make it easy for these popular development boards to connect to our reference designs. These are the primary form factors that we use often. We have Arduino, PMOD, Raspberry Pi, and FMC. We want our reference designs to be as plug and play as possible, but modular and easy for you to adapt to your needs. Now we do that by providing all the hardware and software pieces that are all designed to work on one standard platform, yet easily integrated into your preferred hardware and software platforms. From a hardware perspective, we design our boards to be easy to connect to your analog signals using connections that suit the particular application so that you won't need to hack or soldier into boards. We also provide all these software pieces like the friendly IIO scope user interface for debug and bring up, as well as provide easy access and control through common languages like Python, MATLAB, C, C Sharp, and more. We provide HDL for FPGA designs, Linux and bare metal device drivers, device trees and overlays for Raspberry Pi, embedded code, and even algorithms where applicable. All of these are open source, fully documented, and available from our official GitHub repository. To give you an idea, here are some of the reference design based on Arduino and PMOD form factors. They all have code for ADCOP360 or ADCOP3029, which are ADI development boards, but you can also connect these to your favorite development platform. Application-wise, this shows that we offer many different solutions from water quality measurement system, motion detection, gas detection, and so much more. So what do you get when you order a CFTL? First, you get the hardware itself, but along with it comes the design files like the schematic, gerbers, and even simulation files when applicable. All of these are contained in a zip file that you can download on the product page of the design. We also provide all the software pieces that are in our official GitHub repository. You can access there all the device drivers, HDL, C code, and so much more. But aside from the engineering aspects of the design, you will also get full documentation in the form of circuit notes and user guide. 
the circuit note breaks down the engineering aspects of the solution, while the user guide presents a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it, may it be hardware, software, or system like how to integrate both of them. Now, if you happen to have some issues or questions, we have support on Engineer Zone, where we answer all questions related to circuits from the lab. You are going to get answers from the engineers who develop these designs and know it very well. So any questions that you get, please start at Engineer Zone. That is going to be your best bet at getting an answer quickly. Last but not the least are the videos on this YouTube channel where we unbox reference designs, do tutorials, demos, and walkthroughs on how to set up and use the solution. Here are some notable links for your convenience. We have the CFTL webpage showing the list of reference designs. From there, you can search your preferred reference design for your application and access its design files. We also have the GitHub repository where we put all our software-related items, including their documentation for you to see and use yourselves. If you already have a reference design at hand and need help in your setup, we have the user guides in our wiki pages. But aside from that, you can also check this YouTube channel for unboxing and setup demos for a more visual demo guide. There is also the Engineer Zone where you can ask all your questions related to reference design. You can check out these links in the video description box. In this section, I will showcase four different CFTL examples, but there are hundreds available. These are all release projects, so for more details, check analog.com. First up are CN0417 and CN0522, which are RF amplifier designs for 2.4 GHz and 918 MHz respectively. These provide a gain of at least 20 dB in a small form factor. It is a purely analog system as you just input your analog RF signal and get its amplified version on the output port. These can be used with ADALM Pluto, as shown on the image on the left, or to amplify your own radio transmit signal. Second is the CN0506, which is a dual channel industrial Ethernet PHY based on an FPGA development platform using the ADIN1300. It contains two independent PHYs for Ethernet physical layer management and has a complete open source HDL and software available for Intel and Xilinx FPGAs. It supports multiple speeds up to 1000 megabits per second using the line and ring network topologies for applications in the industrial and building automation or test and measurement. We have here the CN0508, a Raspberry Pi based benchtop power supply. The input can be from an offline power supply or laptop charger from 19 to 36 volts and the output voltage can be adjusted from 0 to 25 either manually via onboard potentiometer or under software control and current limit is adjustable from 0 to 3 amperes. The software stack is based on the libIO so you can control the CN0508 over a network connection from Python, MATLAB, C, C Sharp, and other languages. You can also access all of CN0508's features from the IIO oscilloscope's control panel, including output voltage and current, LDO temperatures, and even potentiometer positions. A full tutorial for this design is posted on this channel. Last but not the least is the CN0503 an Arduino-based optical liquid measurement platform capable of performing colorimetry, turbidity, and fluorimetry while demonstrating the power of ADPD4100. The image on the left shows a shot from the CN0503's demo video. In that demo, he gets the fluorescence of tonic water and plotted the measurement result through a Python code as shown on the image on the right. Despite benchtop instrument performance, the CN0503's highly integrated electronic solution 
is easily adaptable to portable and handheld applications. If you're more interested in this design, do check out the CN0503's unboxing, assembly, and demo videos on this channel. I hope this video has helped you in understanding this channel and CFTL. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on our next reference design video.